All right, part two, uh, Pong. So in part one, what we did was we created all of our components. We have it set up. Now it is time to program it. So we're going to go to the blocks. And you want to also connect to your emulator or your phone. So you can test it out as you go. So I've got emulator up here. Uh, so once I start programming it, we'll see some action here. All right, first thing we're going to do is create a canvas touched block. We want the canvas and the paddle to be interacting. So we're going to go down to canvas one here. And we're going to find the block that says when canvas is touched. Do this. Okay. And we are going to go to the paddle. We're setting up our paddle to move here. So set paddle X. The X is the width and the Y is the height of the canvas. So we're setting up our paddle to move along the X, the width. So set paddle X to and then we're going to go here. You want to hover your mouse till you get that window popping up. And you're going to select the Get X button there. Okay. So if we look at our designer, the paddle moving back and forth, left and right. So like if we touch here, the paddle will move there. Uh, if we touch over here, the paddle will move there. And that's how we're going to be moving our paddle along the X axis. The Y is the height. X is the width. Just important, just emphasizing it. Okay. All right, so we'll go back to our blocks. We want to get when ball one edge reach. So this will set up the, the ball. So when ball one edge reached. So we're going to be talking about the edges here. Okay, and I'm going to bring up a picture here. This picture signifies the edges. So edge one is the top edge edge negative one is the bottom. Okay, so when our ball hits negative one edge, the game's going to reset. And then just to know, for knowledge, edge three, when edge equals three, that's your right side. Edge negative three is the left side. And the heading we put in earlier for the ball, and that is the direction that it goes in. So we have it set up to go 30. So it'll go to the right here and it'll bounce in that direction. Okay, So if you go back to your designer and you select the ball, you'll see that you should have the heading at 30. And that's referring to the degrees that it is heading, the direction. Okay, So 90 degrees it would go straight up, 180 it would go to the left, 270 it would go down, 0 degrees it would go to the right. Alright, so let's go back to the blocks. When ball one edge reach, we want it to do this. So we're going to get the math, the equal sign here. And actually what we want to do, we want to get, uh, we want to go to controls here, and you're going to get an if-then statement. And you click on this, and this took me a while to figure out, but you get the else block, and you drag it over here and that adds it down here. This is new to App Inventor 2. Um, with App Inventor 1 it was completely different so figured that out. Okay, We're going to get our equals block and put it in the if socket. Okay, We want to hover over edge and select the get edge and we want the edge when the if the edge is equal to negative 1. So we're, we'll get our math block here and we'll type in negative 1. Remember, negative 1 for the edge is the bottom part of the game. Let's go to ball 1. We want to find the block that says set ball 1 enable 2. So set ball 1 enable 2 and we're going to make it false. So under logic. Okay, so so when the ball reaches negative 1 for the edge, 
it's going to make the ball false. Basically, it stops the ball. We're also going to set the score label text to game over. So score label. We want to find the one that says set score label text. And we'll put it underneath in this then socket. And we're going to go to text. And we'll get this top one here. And we'll type in our message. So our message will be game over. Boom. Else, so if it doesn't touch edge one, which meaning it would be touching, the ball would be touching all the other edges. Ms. Burton, please come to the main office. Sorry about that. All right, so if the ball doesn't touch edge one, or edge negative one, we want it to keep going. So we're going to go to ball one, and we're going to select the one that says call ball one to bounce. Call ball one bounce to edge, and then we're going to do get edge. That way our ball will keep going. There we go. All right. So once we have those, the only thing, uh, well, the next thing to do is set up um, our score, our update score procedure. So we're going to create a variable. You're going to get the initial global or initialized global, and we're going to put global score. Or just put score here. And we'll get the math and we'll get a zero. Okay, so we're setting up a variable here. And we're going to set up or create a procedure. And then the procedure, what a procedure does is it performs something like this one will update score. So we're going to type in update score. And then from there, we're going to call this variable to happen. So it's going to set the global score to get global score. And then we are going to go to score label here. So set score label text to, and then we're going to go to um, text here and get the join. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine the word score with the actual score. And then we'll get the get global variable, which is score. Okay, so once you have that set up, let's go ahead and reconnect here. I'm just going to pause this while it loads. Alright, so what you should see so far is that you've got um, the ball bouncing around the edges. We haven't set up the paddle yet, so it's going to go to the bottom. When it reaches negative one for the edge, it's going to say game over up here. Okay. So what we need to do is uh, create our start button. And we need to make sure we set up our ball colliding with the paddle. Okay, and that'll be on the next video. So you want to go ahead and just make sure you have all that set up correctly and then go on to part three.